folks at DJI Innovations were nice enough to send me one of their new Phantom quadcopters to review. And as you can see, it's still pretty much winter here, but I couldn't wait for the snow to melt before I tried it out. For starters, just for the record, I've never flown any sort of radio-controlled aircraft before, so the fact that the Phantom is still in one piece, and not lost somewhere, is definitely a testament to how relatively easy it is for a newbie like me to fly the thing. That said, I did make a lot of very rough landings, especially on my first couple of flights. Here are some of them now, for your viewing enjoyment. The only damage done to the quadcopter that I could see was a snapped landing strut. I glued it back together and reinforced it with a piece of coat hanger wire and some heat shrink tubing, which seemed to do the trick. If you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find a link to my article below the main screen, and I go into more detail about my experiences with the Phantom there. For now, though, here's a quick rundown on what I did and didn't like. First of all, as I mentioned before, this thing is tough as nails. I also liked its hands-on controller with physical joysticks, and the fact that its GPS capabilities allow it to hold its position in mid-air, even when it's windy, or when the Phantom's coming to a sudden stop. Additionally, it's nice to know that if you were to fly it out of range, or the control unit crapped out on you, the quadcopter would automatically fly back to its point of takeoff. The included camera mount is another handy feature, although it's also one of the two things I wished were different. As you've no doubt noticed, my GoPro footage has kind of a jiggly quality. This is apparently known as the Jello effect, and user suggestions for minimizing it include balancing the propellers, turning off the GPS, and shooting at 60 frames per second. It would be nice if the camera mount was designed so that buyers could get usable video right out of the box. The other thing I didn't like was the multicolor LED that the quadcopter uses to indicate its status. Depending on what patterns of what colors it flashes, it could be trying to tell you things like the fact that it's too cold, it can't calibrate its compass, or it can't access enough GPS satellites. The problem is, unless you've had a lot of experience with the Phantom, you won't remember what any of these flashing light patterns mean without having the manual close at hand. Finally, and it's not a complaint, but as you might have noticed in some of the shots, I experimented with a pair of homemade pontoons that I added to make landings in the snow easier. They actually worked pretty well, although they still couldn't keep me from flying it into trees. And trust me, you don't want to know how long it took me to get it down from this one. 